Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, if you're a subscriber, thanks a lot. If you're new here, stick around. I want to show you some things about uh, marketing for credit repair uh, online, particularly through Facebook ads. So in this video, I want to talk about, you know, what is a good ad? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it look like if I go on the high polished in? And what, it, what does it feel like if I just use some basic media? And uh, one of my favorite places to go to to do my research and see what's working, see what's not working, is the Facebook ad manager. I'm sorry, Facebook ad library. Excuse me. So if you just Google Facebook ad library, something like this will pop up. You'll click um, what type of ad. I just pick all ads. I type in the keyword credit repair. And you'll start to see um, ads that other people are running currently for, you know, in relation to credit repair, if it picks it up on like, the verbiage sometimes it doesn't relate like this one looks like it's healthcare or something ignore that but most of these are credit repair so let's dissect a few of these and see what's working let's go on high end that means high polish it looks really nice um and it's structured in a certain way so let me show you one i like right here <clears throat> i'm in i have no affiliation with any of these people i think i'm just kind of dissecting the ads giving my opinion uh and kind of looking at their data uh, this is Roland Resnick. No idea who that is. It was Roland, if you're watching, great ad. So check this out. Hey guys, it's Roly from Credit Repair Kings. Have you got a notice from your landlord telling you that your rent is about to increase? Some landlords are telling you that your rent will go up as much as 500 or more. It probably seems unfair because you lived in your home for years and you have nowhere to go. Okay, so what do we know by speaking to these people, um, to our clients these days? <clears throat> If you're anything like us, we're hearing the same story over and over again. Um, hey, my landlord is deciding to sell the property. Hey, my landlord is deciding to raise the rent. Uh, and it's causing strain, financial strain on these people that have been there for years. And that's just the condition of the market. Um, you know, with inflation, with, um, you know, a recession potentially on, on the horizon. Um, you know, people are looking to save or minimize their risk. And if you're a landlord, some of the ways you're doing that are either A, you're just selling before things kind of go, go downhill, or B, you're raising rent um, and substantially so, 17, 20%, et cetera, et cetera. And so if you're somebody that's budgeted for your rent to be X amount, and then all of a sudden it's way more than you're sort of you know, uh, being very worried and uh, looking for solutions. And so uh, what he's doing really well in this video is he's, he's, you know, number one, stating what the current state of um, the market is, the economy and, you know, customer sentiment. And he's, and he's digging into that and saying, look, um, I know that this is happening for a lot of you. Um, if you want, I'd be happy to help you uh, get out of these types of situations and, and have stability and security. So that's that's a great ad. This one's a business funding one. We're not going to go to that. Um, these are pretty cool. These are just get your free consultation right here, and it goes into some copy. Um, I think one of the biggest uh, things that you can do is experiment with your copy. And copy is the wording, that, if for those that don't know, the wording that goes on the headline and then the and the above the ad itself above the creative um let's see here oh i forgot to mention summary details there you go if you see summary details it'll tell you if they are running the ad or not uh see it says inactive right here so it looks like this ad didn't too, do too well for them i think because maybe people didn't really know like what am i what am i learning more about what am i what am I inquiring about? And sometimes the landing pages are out of, they're defunct, they just close them down. So, um, but this ad, what, this ad uh, focused on the Equifax breach that happened a while back. And um, it's trying to use like a news authoritative approach. And that can work if you structure it right. If you, uh, but they only put this clip on here and nothing else right it's just hey this happened and so i think people may have been confused about okay and right 
to make things very simple for people. This is step one, this is step two, this is step three, right? <clears throat> Let's look at this one real quick. Finance watchdogs. She needs to legally raise her credit score from 500 to 700 by doing this. Guess what? I called this company and it was only a 15 minute call. This is great. So this is what's called, uh, or it may not be this, but this style is called user generated content where it's like an influencer that's recording themselves and giving their opinion about a product, a service, etc. And they helped my credit score jump over a hundred points. Yes, you heard me correctly, a hundred points less than three weeks. So if you're listening, I not the hundred points part, but you know, hey, this is my experience, this is what they helped me do. If you have videos like that, these are great to run ads on. That's great. Uh what else? Take a look at this one here. It's my nice wash dogs. That's cool. I love that. I'm not saying you have to make an ad like that. I just like what it's doing. Let's look for some simple ads though. Well, you'll see with a lot of these are these are lead generation companies that um, sell you shared leads or live calls, live transfers, and these people don't know what they're signing up for, so the quality is going to be lower. You always want to run ads under your brand, your account. Oh, they got Snooky here. That's interesting. Um, you can actually get people to record anything with a site called Cameo. Um, I don't have any affiliation with it, but there's a whole bunch of celebrities that you could pay 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks to record a video. I'm going to write down some bullet points to help you out. So, ads, right? Creative doesn't have to be fancy. In fact, I've had success with ads that are very simple they're just like a picture of a house and the text over it that says you know is for anyone that wants to buy a house but can't due to uh, credit challenges right um, and then the text says hey I'm Roger with ABC credit repair I'm making up these names um, I started my business because I was tired of seeing scammy unethical companies uh, take advantage of you know people like you and me so um what i i'm doing different are xyz right and my approach is this i know you're used to seeing monthly fees and there's nothing wrong with monthly fees but if you're like pay for deletion then you can say if you don't want monthly fees we have pay for the for deletion or if you are monthly fees, you could say we do unlimited disputing, unlimited rounds, um, and then you add all the benefits that you include in your service, right? If you offer credit monitoring, if you offer ongoing coaching, if you offer you know budget planning, if you offer any of those things, you definitely want to list those as benefits to your program. And then the offer needs to be, um, let's see, list benefits. And then um, offer can be anything like free consultation. Make sure you put the timing, right? Because people, when they look at an ad, put yourself in their shoes. What's in it for me? How long is this going to take? What is it going to cost me? And can I trust it? Those are the main questions you want to answer through your ad, right? So free 15-minute consultation or review. Or it could be um, special intro offer. It could be like half off or or twenty five percent off. Whatever your fees are, if you want to throw a promotion out there, um, you can do that. Uh, maybe you're throwing in a bonus. You know, get a consultation. and receive a free business credit guide. Something like that, right? Now, once you have that, um, your headlines need to revolve around your, your benefits, right? So, um, you know, average five-star rating on Google, credit repair, um, we help 
fixed credit and get you into a home um, credit repair with a money back guarantee. Um, let me think one more. Hire a credit repair expert. Not just another. Hire a credit repair expert, not just another hobbyist or something like that, right? So in headlines, ads, and then you play with the images. You, you use, um, you know, two or three videos, two or three images, and use a dynamic creative dynamic. I'll make another video about dynamic creative. Dynamic creative is really cool. It's kind of new. Basically, you upload all of your media, all of your headlines, all of your ad text, and it'll figure out which ones will convert for the person viewing the ad, right? Um, then after some data comes in, you can see, oh, these are the types of creative that are working best. Let me make some other variations and then test those, right? So that's what I see winning. Um, I was hoping to find some more on the ad library, but it's just not loading. Oh, here we go. See, this is simple uh, person in front of a car. It doesn't have to be complicated. I'm pretty sure that this is probably doing pretty well for them. Um, I don't like the um, showing your credit score ones because number one, I see a lot of it. And number two, it's not really compliant with, um, you know, TSR, FTC regulations, CROA. Um, you want to try to make sure your advertising is compliant. That way, if ever you're in the spotlight, you're, they look at you and say, okay, they're compliant. I don't have anything to um, hold them against them, uh, hold against them for, you know, violating, you know, certain rules and regulations. So make sure you're not promising a particular time frame. Make sure you're not promising a particular score. Um, there's some more, but I'm just, I forget off the top of my head, but those are the main ones. Um, let's see. Good afternoon. My name is Paul. And I'm it took a long time to get started, so you want to edit that and get it started right away. For a second, if I could, about a company called 60 Day Credit Repair. I love these testimonials. They're great. I would use them as well. This was probably made in like Canva or something like that. Um, you can make videos in Canva. Uh, this guy just talking about credit, probably. Guys, I just wanted to take a second here yeah, he's using his phone, uh, just saying, hey, I'm this person, this is what I can do for you. Or you can hire somebody um, locally or online. Just give him a little script to, to read. Okay, I found uh, another ad, right? So let's dissect it real quick. Um, I like the emojis. Use emojis in your ad text. Um, now, you have to be careful about how you're presenting your ad because... Somebody could make the argument that you're promising deletions, you're promising certain scores. And so we don't do um, ads that show like, hey, these things were deleted, look at what we can do, um, because we're trying to remain compliant. Um, but I like the bullet points that they have here. 15 years of experience, thousands of deletions, 65 average score increase. Uh, fast results, I would probably dig into that a little bit deeper, like. You know, our clients can see see results, uh, could see results in as little as X, Y, Z. Satisfaction rate's good. See results before you pay. Careful with your wording here. If you have an audit fee, then then that's not factual, right? Here's another one. Uh, I wonder if it actually, no, it's just animated. That's cool. So this is a pretty cool one as well. I love the emojis, call to action, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I found one that could use some improvement, right? If you build your credit, one of the top credit credit companies in the industry, the credit pros, and that that's it. <clears throat> I don't know if this ad's doing well for them or not, but I would suspect that it's not because there's not a lot to go off of when somebody's scrolling through. You have to think about it like this. They're not there to shop. You're interrupting their pictures and interacting with friends. And so it needs to be compelling. It needs to draw attention. It needs to have some benefits to for them to 
stop what they're doing and take the steps that you want them to take. Um, I'm just curious about where they leave this to. If it goes to their website, Board of Consultation, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I would I would rather get information than booking page. Um, anyways, so that's it, guys. Um, if you want more of these, let me know. I just thought I'd show you m what my opinion would be about different credit repair ads. Um, just to kind of recap, um, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can be very simple and work well. For me, it has worked well. If you want to go fancy, that's fine. Um, do your research. Go to the Facebook ad library. Look at what your competitors are doing. Structure your ad in a way that draws inspiration from them, but don't copy. That That's horrible. Just, you know, draw inspiration is okay. Um, you know, know exactly how you are unique and what you have to offer is different. Um, if you have testimonials and reviews, be sure to, you know, play with those. Um, if you have, um, if you have a special offer, put that out there. Um, and then we'll talk about marketing automation so that you focus on the highest quality leads and let, um, automation handle the rest. Um, if this was helpful, thumbs up, um, you know, subscribe if you want, I'm gonna have more of this stuff coming soon. Uh, and if you're a credit repair company that would love some help, um, marketing your, your business and you just want some to hand it to somebody and forget about it and appointments just start showing up on your calendar, qualified, uh, credit repair, um, prospects. We'll just go to the site here or click the link in the description and, uh, apply to become a private client. Uh, thanks. Wish you guys much success until the next video. Take care.